Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take you through how to do some genetics problems. Specifically, what I'm going to do is uh, problem one from the level one genetics problems on page 59 in your unit booklet. Um, so here we go. Oops. This is level one genetics problems. Specifically, one. All right, let's read through this, and hopefully you have page 59 with you as I'm doing this. It reads, in peas, yellow seed color is dominant to green. All right, so what do we know about that? I'm going to do capital Y for yellow, and I'm going to do lowercase y for green. All right, capital letter for the dominant, lowercase letter for the recessive. Now, when I work through this first problem, 1A, it says, what color, uh, excuse me, what will be the colors of the offspring of a homozygous yellow crossed with homozygous green? Let's write down the parent alleles first. So homozygous yellow looks like this, and this must be homozygous green. Now, we've got a couple of choices here. We can do the Punnett square, and it would turn out to look like this. Gamete possibilities for one parent on the side gamete possibilities for the other parent across the top, and what we do is we model fertilization by rejoining the uh, haploid allele combinations like this. Now, as you can see, all of the next generation would have a combination of those alleles. These are heterozygous. If you know your six representative monohybrid crosses, you know that homozygous dominant, this is homozygous dominant, crossed with homozygous recessive, what that leads to is this type of genotype ratios in the next generation. So in the next generation, if we want to look at the ratio of homozygous dominant to heterozygous to homozygous recessive, that's going to be 0 to 4 to 0. And the phenotype ratios, how many dominant we have relative to how many recessive we'd have, that would be a 4 to 0. Okay, now let's look at problem 1B. 1B, it reads this way, heterozygous yellow crossed with green. So that means this, heterozygous yellow crossed with green. Now those are little y's. These are little y's, they're not g's, okay? That's the heterozygous, that's homozygous recessive. Again, we can do the Punnett square, put the haploid allele possibilities on the outside of the Punnett square, and see how they will recombine. So this one would be heterozygous, this one would be heterozygous, homozygous recessive, and homozygous recessive. Now, so what that means, holistically, is half of the offspring would be yellow, and half would be green. Now, if you know your six representative monohybrid crosses, heterozygous crossed with homozygous recessive, That's going to lead to a ratio like this, homozygous dominant relative to heterozygous relative to homozygous recessive. That leads to a 0 to 2 to 2 proportion or ratio. And then if you look at the phenotype ratios, that gives us a 2 to 2 ratio. And all of this Punnett square should, and it does, mirror the expected genotypic and phenotypic ratios. Um, as you learn about in your six representative monohybrid crosses. Let's look at 1C. 1C reads heterozygous yellow crossed with homozygous yellow. So that should look like this, heterozygous yellow crossed with homozygous yellow. Okay, now we can, again, do the Punnett square and look at how those gametes could possibly recombine. There's homozygous dominant, there's homozygous dominant, there's heterozygous, there's heterozygous. Those, of course, in the offspring inside the Punnett square would all be yellow. <clears throat> if we know our ratios from our six representative monohybrid crosses, the 
that's going to be 2 to 2 to 0. And then phenotype ratios, that's 4 to 0. In other, way, in other words, all of the offspring would be yellow. All right? That's 1C. Let's look through 1D. 1D says heterozygous yellow crossed with heterozygous yellow. So those are the genotypes of the parents. We can do the Punnett square. See how those recombine. There's a homozygous dominant. There's a heterozygous. There's a heterozygous. And there's a homozygous recessive. Now, if you look at this holistically, you know three quarters are going to be yellow, three quarters of an offspring, and one quarter green. If you look at the ratios, as you should from your six representative monohybrid crosses, there's two other types of crosses that this problem number one doesn't go through. Our ratios are going to be 1 to 2 to 1. Genotypically, phenotypically, the ratio is 3 to 1. All right? This 3 to this 1 is the same thing as this 3 to this 1 here. All right? So that's problem set number 1 from your level 1 genetics problems.